Welcome to part two of our interview with Kelly and Joe Dan Reed from Splash Em Out Laundry. What would you say to somebody who's considering, they're on the fence of getting into pickup and delivery, they're not sure if it's worth it, what advice would you give to them? I'd step on in because what do you have to lose? It doesn't cost much to try it like we did. You can start out in your own car, you can start picking up and deliveries. Uh, if you have a good software, you'll look professional from the get-go. I just say jump all in. You're an entrepreneur already. Why not expand your business? I mean, we're always looking for ways to utilize our laundromat to do more. So you have the wash, dry, fold, pick up a delivery. You have pop machines, quarter pushers. We have the dog wash. The dog wash, you name it. So just keep on scaling your own business. Think inside the box instead of outside the box. What can I do within my business? That's the way I see it. That's such great advice because you already have the infrastructure there. You're paying the lease, you're paying on the machine. So you got the staff there anyways, if you're attended. How do you maximize your profit? And this is a whole additional revenue center, premium product. It just makes sense to get the most out of your investment. And yeah. plus you're already a hard worker because you've shown that you've, you've opened this on mat. You're, you're running a successful business. Why not try to scale your business? What's neat is then that business is yours. You can take them wherever you want. They know you, they know your brand, they know you do a good job. And it just adds value to what you're already doing. The curbside conference, we've got a place over in Long Beach, Hyatt Hotel. We've got fantastic speakers. Both of you will be presenting there. So we're excited on that, on how to scale your business and grow it. And I was just curious because you've been to a lot of different wash and fold conferences and you've got to travel to go there and you're meeting other laundry owners. What do you get out of the, the conferences? Well, because we meet like-minded individuals who are trying to grow and scale their businesses as well. And if we can meet just one person or, or pick up one nugget while we're there, it's huge. I'll give you an example. When we went to the clean shop, we met Randy Roberts and Paul Spence. They've become very good friends of ours. We're constantly talking to them. We've gone to the Wash Dry Folk Conference. Very good. We learned a lot. We see what struggles people are having. We can knock off ideas on, on one another. And plus, uh, I like to go out and have a drink and have a good time and meet a lot of people in our business. For me, it gives me the opportunity to go out and meet other laundry owners. And there's not very many female laundry owners. So conferences do tend to bring those out. And I, I love meeting other women in the business and, and rolling our ideals around each other and, and meeting new friends and gaining new friendships. A number of our speakers, you know, yourself, Colleen Unuma with Brio Laundry, and we have uh, two other speakers, Stephanie and Claudia with We Wash. They started a pickup and delivery service without a laundromat. And something I noticed with a lot of the women who I've interviewed in the laundry business is I find they are the best at branding because they are connecting with the customer. What is branding? It's really how do you connect with the customer? How do you tell them who you are and how you could help them? I like seeing the uh, lineup you have. I'm very excited. It's laundromat people talking laundromat stuff and really what we really care about. That's what's different about your show compared to the others I've gone to. I know you have a TED talk, that's great. That guy's gonna be unbelievable. I've already looked up his bio. And the rest of your lineup is amazing because it's people who have started from the grassroots You've got them all over, an array of, of speakers that do all, all sorts of, that come from everywhere, and it's great. I love it. We're laundry owners. We built software for laundry owners, and this conference is laundry owners for laundry owners as well. Those are really the stars of the show. People are successful, their journey, and we want it just packed with stuff people are writing down of what I could take from the from what I learned from the speakers and how I could apply that to my own business. And it's gonna be action packed. This conference is open for everybody, curbside clients, non-curbside clients. This is for anyone interested in wash and fold and pick up and delivery. You may already be doing pick up and delivery. You may be thinking about doing pick up and delivery, but this is gonna have something for everybody. We're excited that both of you will be speaking at it and that's gonna be a great get together. Looking forward to it. Where do you see the industry going? you know, with wash and fold, with pickup and delivery. I do see the future of pickup and delivery. People weren't cutting grass 30 years ago. And now you see somebody cutting grass on every corner. People are time poor. That's what I noticed more than anything. People are time poor. They don't want to spend all day long doing laundry on a Sunday. And I think maybe since COVID, people became used to being able to pick up the phone or go on their computer and order something and have it being brought back to them. That pushed the pickup and delivery button a little bit faster. 
because our pickup and delivery really began to grow at that point. Absolutely. You know, that's so fascinating. You're right on point because we've seen the data, you know, where a lot of people had that tremendous growth during COVID where a lot of people's businesses on pickup and delivery just doubled. And in fact, we had a number of clients using curbside who said, I would have lost my laundromat if it wasn't for pickup and delivery. The second part was even after COVID, you would think, okay, COVID's over. We're going to go back to the way we used to behave before. And we didn't see that. People, just like as you're saying, Kelly, people got used to this and I think they're time poor and people want to free up their time. Nobody's going back to cutting their own grass. It's sure. just not right. happening. They're just not. Once you get someone hooked on wash, dry, fold, pick up and delivery, if they don't use you, they're going to probably use someone else because they like the service that much. 100% agree. It's a retention business and we've seen people just keep growing their business, adding new ones to it, and keeping the customers they have. Being with Curbside, the reports you have accessible to the owners and to my managers and even to my accountant. My accountant loves you. She's able to just <laughs> go through there and pull everything up really quickly. Tax exempt customers from the commission and tips that we give, it just has really simplified everything for her. We're able to pull a report for the return on the advertising that we've spent. There's just multiple, multiple reports that have really simplified everything for us and, and made my life easier. So it allows me more time to go out and do the things that I want to do or need to do for my business. See, she's time poor too. Yeah, we all are. <laughs> so that's really fascinating. You mentioned about the reports and running your business and making it easy for the owner because we have a very influential client, very well connected. And one of our competitors said, hey, use our software. We'll give you all these incentives. We'll give it to you for free. You don't have to worry about paying for it. So he got everything for free. And he's like, oh, you know, it's the latest, greatest thing. So they started using it in-house. The employers really liked it. But then he looked at the reports and he goes, I can't run my business on this. This is crazy. He got rid of it. He's back. And I I don't think you'll ever look twice on <laughs> risking your operations from software that's made by people outside of the industry. Grass isn't greener. <laughs> and I like how <laughs> we're able to use the machine tracking report as well. It helps, you know, cut down on employee theft. theft. If you have a laundry yes. card that they use, you can match up what you're using compared to what they're actually swiping. I love it because I have your software on my computer at home and I'll just be sitting waiting for dinner to finish cooking and I'll just glance at it. It takes just, you know, five, 10 minutes at night and it pretty much gives me an idea of who I need to look at or, or have a manager you know, kind of keep their eye on. If you haven't checked out their YouTube channel, you need to, and you need to hit subscribe because it is in the field. And it's, I always learn something from every episode. Well, thank you for watching that and subscribing. Yeah, one of the ones that caught my eye as well is if there's the scruff marks. Now, if you notice when you come into Splash Mount Water Mats, you notice how nice and clean the walls are and they always look freshly painted. See, this is, this is what I can't stand, nicks on the walls. So we're constantly painting and making sure everything looks nice and fresh. So we'll paint at least a total paint once every six months, but touch-ups are daily. And you have the same color paint and covering that up. That is just so important because it's real easy to get complacent and you walk past the same mark every single day and you don't even see it anymore, but guess what? Your customers see it. And you guys have not only scaled your business, but it feels like each one is loved. And, and that's something that is really commendable. Yeah. And we're yeah. fortunate to, to have a great staff that, that helps us with having an extra set of eyes to see things and, and to know things. So we're blessed. And like you said, the scruff marks, I mean, that's in our SOPs. You know, when you're, when you're writing your SOPs, you just do certain things and you want to make sure that every aspect of your business is covered. And that's what we try to do. And, and, you know, customer service first, of course. I always tell my employees, put yourself in the customer's shoes. Would you want to come in here and do your laundry and have it drop on the floor if the floor is dirty? No. So. And don't be eating a burrito when you're trying to help somebody. <laughs> right. That's the golden right. rule. That could be its own podcast right there, the day in the life. But yeah, thanks again for being on the podcast. I think both of you are such a positive force for the industry. And you guys share so much information and it's free. There's no strings attached. You know, it's just you guys are just helping other people out, sharing what you guys have learned. And I think that really exemplifies like we should all strive for, you know, just helping other people out. And, and you guys run a just amazing operation. And we'll have to do a part two sometime soon. For Absolutely. Sure. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more about the curbside laundry's point of sale and wash and fold and pick up and delivery solution, the same one that Kelly and Joe Dan use at Splash Mount, go to curbsidelaundries.com.